Good afternoon, this is Simon Bell from Stone Conservatives and I'm down our High Street at the bottom end of Stone and I'm going to introduce you to Steve who's an inspirational businessman at Oat Cakes and Milkshake. So without any further ado, let's go and meet Steve. Hi Steve, how are you? Hi, yeah, Good hi. to meet you. Yeah, Simon yeah. from uh, Stone. Hi. Um, so Steve, um, do you want to just show us a little bit about uh, of the premise, premises you've got here and when you started and how, how things have panned out for you? Well, we started up four and a half years ago and everything's been going great, great, just like this, John. Brilliant. And okay, so four and a half years ago you started. Yeah. Um, and from looking here, a lot of it has changed. Oh, it has changed Could, because of the COVID. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Could you just sort of explain what happened during COVID and what did you what did you get a benefit from? Well, um, obviously we had the like, we got the grants when um, when it struck. Um, a bit worried at first. I thought we could have to uh, shut down, but we carried on doing deliveries instead. And, what, uh, deliver home delivery? Home deliveries. And that took and off? It, it took off big style, <laughs> yeah. And it went very well. And obviously we got the grant money and with the grant money we, we decided to change the shop. Okay. And we, uh, we put new benches in and everything. And the screening up to protect the staff. Yeah, okay. To protect the customers. And, and that's really, really worked for it's you, hasn't it? We are limited to how many we can have in now. Okay. Obviously, people queue to come in, but, yeah. you know, that's that productive, really. But, and, and yeah, everything seems to turn around really good. And, Stephen, I know you've got four sons. How, how many of them are working in the business at the moment? Three, Three, Three of them. Yeah. Okay, so we're, only one's got away yeah, at the moment. Yeah, they have to work hard. And I think you were telling... <laughs> And you were telling me earlier on you, you bought a, a an oat cakes recipe. Yeah, we did. That, that's how we started out in the first place. Okay. And um, obviously, an oat cake shop wouldn't have worked in Stone just on its own. So um, the family discussed what we could do, and we came up with a signing. So you innovated by putting together an oat cake, a milkshake, and an ice cream parlour yeah. at the bottom end of Stone. What did people think about that? They thought it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we knew it would work out. And I think you've just said to me that you're taking part in the dine out to. to, to it's the that's, health. That's been phenomenal. Has for it? Us. Yeah, it's awesome. So eat out, yeah. eat out to help out? Eat out to help out, yeah. And, and it's, it's really worked. Massive. That's why we're opening late, just to mop up the people that want to come in and that, take the opportunity to take that to 50% discount. Incredible, and and so are they existing customers or new customers? No, a lot or? of them are new customers. Really? Yeah, they're all coming from out of town. And, so, uh, it's been good for the town, really, on bringing people in. So. And and do you do do you do much on social media or? The lads do all that. Do I'm, they? <laughs> I'm not very social media friendly. Aren't I? Well, I don't blame you. <laughs> But the important thing is, it's a destination shop now yeah. for people coming into Stone. Yeah. And what about the High Street? What's your view on the High Street? Is it? Uh, the High Street, it's, I'm unsure about it. It's, some of the things are good, like, you know, but uh, it's gone up the footfall, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, I, it's the same with all High Streets. That's the problem at the moment. And what, is innovation part of the problem, do you think? Because you can hardly accuse you of not being innovative. No, I yeah, know that. But it, it, yeah, it is innovation, but at the end of the day, it's, uh, you've got to have the right, right sort of businesses in, yeah. in the town to yeah. put people in. We, yeah, we have done not that bad. We've got B&M now, and uh, yeah. obviously Bruno's and them. So. Right. And so, uh, what, what for the future then, Steve? What, 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 what's your plan? The future is to retire. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, now we, we've got plans to do other things yet. So you'll have to wait and see. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. Well, I tell you what, I'm actually, in, I'm really, really impressed. And, and and the other thing is, we talked a little bit earlier on about the demography, the demographics. There's a whole family here of young kids, and, and of course they're going to want the milkshakes and everything. You've got parents and pensioners who are potentially going to want. Okay. Oh yeah, we cater for everybody from 
little to, you know, depending on so, And one other thing I noticed, sorry Stephen, but one other thing I noticed outside is your pavement yeah. tables. How yeah. are they doing? They're all right, they're fine. They fill up in the hot weather. It's, uh, you know, it's been good with the, uh, the Eat Out scheme. We've been able to get more people in. Yeah. Obviously, it's socially distanced out yeah. there as well. Yeah. Part, so, you yeah. know, it's been good. And I know the, the other part of being safe is you are recording and tracing uh, every everybody. Single person. Fantastic. Every single person, yeah. Well look Stephen, I, I take my hat off to you. What a fantastic success and I hope it continues and you need to get your other son, the last one that's got away, get him involved. I'll get as him well. involved now. <laughs> Stephen, thank you very much okay, indeed from Simon. Bye bye now. Cheers, bye. Somebody.